Hey, welcome back to the car shack. My name is Jimmy Prater. I'm a car closer. That's what I do. I close and close and close. I close car deals. You do the same thing. You close them and gross them, right? Well, customers know that. So it's no fun to buy a car. It's fun to sell them and gross them, but it's no fun to buy because you're spending money. Nobody wants to spend money on something that they don't really want to buy in the first place. So you have to understand the anxiety a customer may have coming to a dealership. Now, it doesn't matter if they find, if they find you on a, on a digital platform somewhere or if they find you over the telephone or if they find you uh, face-to-face on a meet and greet. And let me tell you something, that first meet and greet's got to be a compliment. If you compliment, all bets are off. They're going to open up the floodgates, okay? Because, see, they woke up in the morning with a mission. Something happened in their life that they now need a new vehicle, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just uh, they have a child that just turned 16. Maybe they just wrecked one on the freeway, totaled it out, or maybe it's just stuck at some mom and pop shop and they said, hey, it can't be fixed unless you got $3,000. All right, now, that's fact. That's fact. If we all know that customers have anxiety coming in, maybe we'll treat them a little better, okay? Because that's customer service. Customer service starts immediately. Right out of the meet and greet. Now, they want to find a vehicle, and it's up to you to guide them to the right vehicle. But what do you do? Do you go, do you go for the juggler, and, and do you ask them, say, hey, how's your credit? You know, are, are we pre-qualifying them right there? Because we don't want to pre-qualify customers. How much money you got for a down payment? That's a no-no. How much money can you spend? No-no. You just cut your gross anyways. Because that's when we close on the figures, because we know there's two closes in the sale. You close the product, and you close the figures. When we close on the figures... We're going to gut them. We're going to gross them. That's just what's, what's going to happen. So your paycheck goes through the roof. But we got to find out what they want. This is called reverse engineering. How do you reverse engineering? You got to find out the vehicle that they drove up in if it's theirs. Yeah, it'll give you an idea what type of person you're dealing with. You got to find out if they took public transportation there. Gives you an idea where they stand. Now, I'm not putting anybody down. I'm not judging anybody. I'm going by experience because we don't want to judge anybody. We don't want to pre-qualify. Human beings understand when they're being judged. Defense mechanisms go up. And it's harder and harder and harder to close the sale. You probably won't do it. So don't pre-judge. You don't want to do that. So let them find the vehicle that they want. And you got them to the vehicle. Hey, I want to show you this vehicle over here. I know you got five kids at home. This one will hold all your children, plus your puppies, okay? So it's things like that, reverse engineering, by finding out stuff. And you know what? You don't want to ask too many yes questions. A yes question, you like this car, don't you? Right, right? Of course they like it. That's why they picked it up. That's a pushy salesperson. Limit your yes questions one per hour. You limit it one per hour, and that one that you ask, that's going to be asking for the sale. That's the close. Now, you're getting closer they're looking at maybe a $20,000 vehicle and a $50,000 vehicle. Now you know that you have to investigate a little bit, right? This is, this is something that I like to call the interview. Because you gotta, you got to say, hey, listen, this is not a prequel again. You can just investigate. Now, you know, hey, listen, $20,000, $50,000. Now you're wondering, can this customer afford one of these and drove up in an old Honda Civic hoopty? So you you got to know where you're at in the deal. So how do you know where you're at in the deal? You just got to let them know. Because you got to develop some type of a sales pitch. Maybe something along the lines of, um, you know what? The banks are buying everybody right now. This is a great time to buy a vehicle. You are a lucky person because in the last two weeks, anybody that we put into the banks got bought. At low interest rates too. It's the same, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. As a matter of fact, we have several different financing programs. We have a financing program for somebody with really good credit at low interest rate. We have a financing program for somebody with a little bit of credit disability, lack of credit, no credit at all, still at an outstanding rate. We even have a financing program for somebody who's been bankrupt, which means even if you've had multiple foreclosures, we can get you financed. Now, hear, hear me out. If they interrupted you, they probably do not have credit disability that's your fact that's your find and your investigation if you like anything on this video anything at all go ahead share it and like it 
If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, click the little sharky icon right down there. Subscribe. A bell will pop up if you're on YouTube. Bell will pop up. And it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now do yourself a favor. My name is Jimmy Prater. Go close something. Yeah.